What up, family? UGK, Bun B, Pimp C. Now, we all know Bun B and Pimp C was two different individuals just in the same basket, like, right? Pimp C was more outspoken than Bun B. Bun B was more laid back. But a lot of people didn't know when it come to Pimp C, fam, that Pimp not only was a rapper, you know, he was a producer and all, made beats. Pimp was a very passionate individual when it come to uh, the South hip hop. He was for real about it and pretty much willing to die about that, right? Because we know how hard it was for the South to make moves back in the days. Now, if you don't know, when Pimp came home, fam, Pimp had a lot to say. Not only about other uh, rappers that wasn't from Houston, but rappers that was from Houston also. And he didn't hold his tongue, but he just didn't disrespect like talking about, right? He left room for uh, to talk about the situations that individuals was having, right? Now, in the process of that, fam, a lot of people got offended. They felt disrespected. Even though Pimp was calling uh, the hand to be true, but we was coming into another era, fam, of social media, and I think if Pimp was still here today, he would be the biggest troller ever, like a 50 cent or something, right? Now, fast forward. Bond B, fam. He just went on 85 South interview, Right? Very touching. And Bun B spoke on Pimp C. Matter of fact, in the process of Bun B speaking on Pimp C, fam, Bun B went into tears. You know, he got emotional. And he spoke on people in the game not appreciating Pimp C. He spoke on Pimp C being passionate about the South and the underlinks that come up under him to get, uh, better deals in the game. Bun B went on to name a few artists that's hot right now in today's time and match their um, behavior, swag, the way they coming into the game uh, pretty much with Pimp C. Pimp C gave them the game, right? But he also spoke on a lot of people didn't appreciate him in the process of him crying. Now, Bun not lying. Because I see it myself. Bun not lying. Because I seen it when Pimp was out when he came home. Like I was just saying, a lot of people, when he named names in the records, you know, they didn't feel right about it, even though he was trying to do the right thing. Now, we know that UGK is gatekeepers of the South. One of the first groups uh, to do it. One of the first ones to do it. And do it like they did on a major level. Reasons why UGK found is one of them ones because records like Pocket Full of Stones was talking directly to the, the crack era, the crack dealers. So you feel me? Like Pimp C had his ways of uh, reaching the community through that music, fam, and he did it successfully. Now, when it comes to not being appreciated, like Bond B saying, I'm seeing in today's time that we in, if you think that you finna be in the hip hop game, or almost any other game, because if you look at it, don't nobody talk about your father, your grandpa, daddy, daddy. You feel what I'm saying? Like after so long, the world totally move on. You feel me? And a lot of people is chasing a ghost. And especially now, people don't remember even a 10, 20 year gap. People don't remember no more. People don't bring up Pimp C like talking about with all that he done for the South. You don't see them uh, dudes in Houston really giving it up for Pimp C fam like they should. You don't see Pimp C getting no type of uh, award fam for the honesty and the passion that he had for the community in the rap game. So, at the end of the day, I'm telling you, don't die in vain, homie. <laughs> Behind some people that's not going to really remember what you got going on. 
I don't understand why individuals want to be gangsters rap right now or rap legends right now because these two is forgot about very fast. The only thing is keeping uh, Dolph name alive is that the individuals that he had up on them was some real soldiers and they know they got to push the PRE to keep their money going. You understand what I'm saying? Like this, the labor that we got to push to keep this going. You feel me? So Dolph name and PRE will always be into play due to the work that he put down in the game. But I guarantee you 15 years from now, we won't hear nothing else about uh, Dolph and his legendary uh, status fam. People wouldn't curl. The youth that's coming up up under um, us and, and as it goes trick, trickle down, it beginning to be a selfish program, the worse it get with generations, fam. <laughs> you feel me? Like people don't care about nothing but the now, what's going on now. And I understand Bond B. Bond B have been one of them ones in hip hop fam, like Pimp C, but on another level. And what I mean by that is Bun speak real talk. He, he give the community in these interviews, you know, what they need and what they need to hear, not what they want to hear, right? And a lot of these OGs give the YGs, you know, what they want to hear in order to stay relevant in the game and still move around and do shows or whatever the case uh, might be. Bun was crying, fam, literally in tears. This was the first time that I seen Bun in tears talking about this situation. And you can tell that Bun was really hurt behind individuals that don't appreciate pimp and really don't rock with it like that. You understand what I'm saying? Because he know the work that pimp had put in. He didn't want to say no name. Now, if pimp was in Bun, shoes, pimp would have named some names out of Houston and other places, fam, with individuals that didn't appreciate uh, uh, pimp C, but acting like they did. And it's the same on the street level. I remember coming up, you know, I shot for a whole neighborhood, fam. I went to prison at 15 years old, shot the individuals. But at the end of the day, you know, life goes on. You know, people grow with life. You understand what I'm saying? So I can't be looking at, hey, he supposed to be looking at me like I'm legendary. He don't appreciate me. He don't woo woo all these different things. You can get caught up in that web, fam, and it can get emotional, like Bond B. But you got to understand that human beings going to be human beings and life goes on. You got to be ready for the transitions of it, fam. You dig what I'm saying? And a lot of y'all getting caught up in, I want to be a rapper. I want to be a gangster. I want to be a legendary uh, dope boy. And whatever you got going on, fam, and at the end of the day, it really don't matter. It's just like chasing the wind in this world. A lot of y'all just running like chasing the wind. <laughs> you feel me? You just going after what you're going after for nothing uh, for other people to look at you in a certain light. And when it's really all about, fam, how do you look at yourself? How do your kids look at you? How do the people that's close to you, your mother, your father, your grandmother, the, the people that's important, that's what you should be looking at, fam, on a legendary status, how they going to look at you when you pass or whatever the case might happen. Because people, like Bond B saying, going to be people regardless of how hard you try to help them out. But make sure you hit that like button, family, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.